This video and hundreds more like it, available on freephotoshopvideotutorials.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to automate the process of resizing photos, um, all the photos that you have in a folder, for example, so that you can send them off to the internet um, primarily. Um, you can send this so that you can you know, make, have a smaller group of photos to um, send attachments to your friends over email or when you're uploading to websites and so forth. So the first thing to do is just to open up any one of your images uh, in your folder. And as you can see, this image here is quite big. We can go to image and image size and check out that the width is 800 pixels. Now the rule of thumb for the web is somewhere around the width of 800 pixels. So what we want to do is just record the process of doing this and saving for the web so that it's a small size and um, and then applying this to the whole folder. So that's a thought process. So what we need to do is uh, open up our, our actions window. So go to window and actions. And now we're going to create a new action and we're going to call it resize. Uh, for web actually so there we are now it's uh, we press enter and now it's already recording here we can see the recording is on so it's recording everything we do in Photoshop all our actions and the first thing to do is go to image and image size set the width I prefer uh, width of 800 when I'm doing things for the web so I'll press OK and make the image smaller now we're going to go for, to file and save for web and devices or if you're in an earlier version of Photoshop it'll just say save for web and um, now what we need to do is uh, make sure that we are on JPEG and that the quality is on 60%. We are on optimized and none of these other things here are ticked. And uh, this will ensure that you have a pretty good quality um, picture and it will be a, a fairly small size. So for example, this one here is 128 kilobytes. So that's pretty good. We're going to go ahead and click on save. And now we're going to save this on a new folder, okay? So we're going to uh, take here a new folder and we're going to create here resized pictures. And we're going to go ahead and save this. Okay, so we've saved our image. We will um, stop recording. That's all we needed to do. And now we're going to close this uh, image here. We don't need to save it. And now we'll see here that it created a resized pictures already with that one picture in there. Now, um, if you want a truly automated process, what's going to happen is once uh, you apply the action to all of your folders, you're going to get to a point where the image you just saved saved uh, will show up saying, we already have this image, do you want to overwrite it? If you don't want uh, for that to happen, if you want to just press resize and walk away, have a cup of tea, uh, delete uh, this picture because you, you're going to do this already again essentially so um, it's going to be applied because the picture is already here right so if you don't want to be interrupted uh, while this uh, takes its course just delete the picture that was created in the resize pictures folder for now so we're going to go back into Photoshop and now we're going to apply our actions right so we're going to go to file automate and batch and here we're going to select the sources folder so we're going to select our folder with images. So here it is, pictures. We're going to select and choose uh, the pictures here. The destination, we're also going to select the folder. And then we're going to choose um, our resized pictures folder, which by now should be empty. So we're going to go ahead and click on say, uh, choose that. And now all that we're doing is um, we are opening up a folder with pictures. We're applying the resize for web action that we have selected here. If it's not selected, make sure that you have it selected. And then we're going to, after applying that action, we're going to save it to a new folder. And this is the best way to do it so that you preserve the original sized pictures that you have. And then you have the smaller one for the web. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. And Photoshop will just quickly resize, save the images, and it'll be done in an instant. So there we are. So we have our original pictures. And then within the resized pictures, we have our smaller pictures, and we can see this by just opening this up in Photoshop. The resized ones going to image size, and you can see that the width is there, and all the files are nice and small, ready for you to send over email or upload to the web. And that's all there is to it. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website, and we'll create even more videos that interest you.